Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be adding an SSD to my computer. So this is the first time I'm adding an SSD. I've actually been delaying it for a couple weeks now. I tried it last week, but the cable I had didn't work since it was right angled and my computer case requires kind of a, a straight angle one, a normal one. Uh, so yeah, I had to wait for a week until the cables arrived and to find the time again. Uh, so now I have everything. Nothing should go wrong besides, you know, my errors because I, I haven't, I don't, I don't have any experience with SSDs, so I don't really know how to transfer all my stuff from the hard drive to the SSDs. So, let's do it. All right, so here we have the Samsung VNAND SSD, the 860 Evo. It is a two, or actually a 500 gig solid state drive. This is the one I will be adding. So we're just gonna do a, an unboxing very quickly. I did open the box already, but uh, we're gonna open it once again. So we do get the manuals telling us to download the wizard and the, all the, the good stuff and here's the ssd itself very nice I'm, I'm gonna try to put it right here on that bay hopefully it looks good set that aside and here we have it didn't come with the ssd but i had to order them separately i have the screws those are the ones that screw in the ssd to that little bay and the sata cable the power cable is in there. Alright, my apologies if it looks super zoomed in. But now we're going to open up the Samsung Wizard or the Samsung Data Transfer something software. Samsung Data Migration software. And that's what we're going to use to transfer the stuff from my hard drive to my new SSD. Keep in mind that to use this software, your new SSD has to be from Samsung. And as you see right here, as soon as you click start, it detects the, the hard drive that you're using, the source disk, and this is the target disk. This is the one I just installed. And now, as you can see right here, hopefully it's not too bright. I'm gonna have to lower down the uh, some of the settings here. As you can see right here, it's cloning disk. So it's gonna, I believe it's just gonna send everything I have from the hard drive to the SSD. And of course, since I have a lot of things, that's gonna take a long time. So we're just gonna be right here and I'll see you guys when this thing is complete. Or if there's a notification that pops up, um, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully my power doesn't go out or else I'm going to be in serious trouble. Just a heads up, we're at 23 minutes uh, that have passed. 62%. I'm not keeping track of how long, how, how much time has passed, but it's been about 20-25 minutes, somewhere along those lines. I'll come back when it's finished. Alright, so now after what I believe it said 40 minutes or something like that, we are finally done. The data on the source disk has been successfully cloned to your Samsung SSD. So now we can close this, and this is actually disk one. This is the SSD I installed, and the, what I had took 291 gigs out of 465. So now we could close that. Uh, please shut down the system and install the new disk. Okay, shut down. And now we're gonna shut, oh, well, we're shutting down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the other panel and I'm gonna unplug the the, um, the primary hard drive that I had just to see if it, if it boots up from the SSD. I'm gonna go into the BIOS and make sure that it boots from there. And I'm gonna make that my primary um, hard drive. I'm still gonna keep the other one, but that's just for storage. All right, so the cable that I'm going to unplug from the primary hard drive is gonna be this uh, power cable right here. All right, so now we're gonna load into the BIOS and we're gonna see what we can do. I don't know if you guys heard that, but right when I uh, switched the power supply switch on the back, the power switch. My PS4 made like a three beeps. Oh, and I forgot, delete. I need to go to the BIOS. All right, we're in the BIOS. And okay, it does detect the SSD, it's up here. Let me adjust the camera. As you can see right there, Windows Boot Manager P P4 Samsung SSD 860 EVO. That's the SSD and I wanna see what I could do here. All right, so. We went to the to the boot menu and we clicked on the SSD and hopefully, oh man, it, it opens up, thank God. And it opens up pretty quickly too. Let's sign in. 
Let's hope everything is still there. Alright, my wallpaper's here. And keep in mind that my hard drive is completely unplugged. It's not loading from that. Uh, let's see, let's go to files. Wow, and everything's opening up very fast. Blazing fast. Everything's here, which is perfect. Let's see how fast my editing software opens up. And keep in mind that this just this just uh, logged in and everything. With the regular hard drive, I'm gonna have a separate video for that, but with the regular hard drive, it took forever to open up. And I, I could already tell this is a lot faster. So much faster. So I'm gonna end it here. Um, I might have a couple of nice shots on my computer here just showing off and stuff. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more awesome videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.